All right, and we're live. Everybody, how are you? Summer is about to wrap up. It is time for Friday Night Live, but this time for tonight, it's going to look a little bit different than it has in the past. I have my lovely friend, Cami on. Um, hey, girl, how are you? I am so good. Just got back from floating the river, and it was what I needed to end the summer, I think. Perfect. That is so much fun. Cami has a five-year-old and a six-year-old, two daughters. Uh, she and her husband took the girls there. But you guys, I asked Cami to come on. Not only is she my friend, um, she is the editor of the Iris Journal magazine. Thank you so much. And she's also, she's been working with me for the last year, kind of helping me organize the turquoise iris and organize this and organize that and hey kimberly hi michelle hi brianna um lots of friends popping on you guys it's time for friday night live it's 8 30 on friday um i have asked cammy to come back for the for the first coming back episode because a lot has transpired since may which before since i've done a friday night live and a lot has happened and we've signed up to do a lot of different things but i couldn't do any of these things alone Hello, Gavin. How are you, buddy? Hi, Shaylin. Oh, hey, Gavin. Um, this is, yes, Gavin's on. This is, oh, Marla says, Cammy and exclamation points with big capital letters. Um, and there's my mom on there. She says, it's nice to meet you, Cammy. You too. <laughs> Um, so we are going to do some fun things tonight. Um, anytime Cammie's involved, we're always going to talk mindset. You guys, I love to listen to Cammie. She's a part of my creative connection. She's a part of my empowered by design. Um, but she is also going to be the editor for the journal magazine, which means all of the submissions are going to come through. They're going to go through Cammie. She's going to help me kind of, I have a vision and she is going to help me hone in that vision and tie it all together. Um, you know, because I'm a creative, I have all of these like fires. They're like going off, going off, going off. But Cammie's a creative too. So she actually gets that side totally. Um, Cammie, go ahead and tell everybody who you are and where you are and just a little bit about what you do. Hello, everybody. I'm Cammie. Um, I, unlike what you might think based on Dan's wonderful introduction, I'm not a mindset coach. I'm actually a copywriter and digital marketer, and I work with creatives to help them plan, launch, and market their offers, their funnels, and their courses and coaching programs. And I live to work with creatives. It is like the dream of all dreams. And just hearing you say editor of a magazine was like literally seeing my dream come true in front of my eyes. So I'm just super happy that I get a chance to work with you. And through you, Dion, I've met so many amazing people um, through your groups and just kind of tangentially. And it's just been fantastic. And I could not be more excited about this magazine. I think I'm probably the most excited person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm excited, but I'm a little bit nervous because everything I do, of course, we do with our whole heart. And I want it to be spectacular. I want it to be the best digital magazine that there ever was. And, you know, I have all these high expectations. No pressure. None at all. <laughs> but I feel like you're the same way, though. I know that you're yeah. the same way. We're both and so you, Yes. Yes, we have a vision and it happens to be lining up together and kind of like, okay, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? And so um, as soon as we decided to do the magazine and figured out what the roles were and who was going to help us do this, I said, you know what? I'm going to do a podcast. So on top of all of that, this is going to be our first audio recording of the paint talks podcast so that will be launching next week um and i've asked cammy to come on with me and be the very first episode so um there's that too cammy i know i'm so honored but also that's a lot of pressure you guys <laughs> i hope i'm interesting <laughs> well we wanted to get together and kind of explain where our heart is with the magazine what we're looking for and as we work through the magazine page by page by page where we're going with it what we're looking for and how it's going to actually be beneficial for all of you as well and this is just one of the things we have asked for about 10 to 12 different artists in different genres we have can we tell them a little bit about what we have like we'll not like we can give them an no, idea no, 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 like a little snitch Okay, you tell them. <laughs> okay, so I'm really excited. Well, I, should we start there? Should we start with why we created the magazine? Because I feel like that is so important to the explaining why we have these features. 
I can't think? hear you. Can you hear me now? You went away. I'm not, I didn't, I'm here. Can you guys hear Cammie? If you can hear me, let it me went know. away from me. It's my same headphones, guys. Can you guys hear Cammie? I yeah, heard her perfectly and then it just went off. Anybody? Hmm. Yeah, now well, she's sad. You hear first her? Podcast. You hear yes? her, Michelle. Oh, you guys hear her and I don't. Great. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to talk while Dion figures that out. Since it is a podcast, we want to at least have some audio. So, Dion, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Okay. Is that better? Oh, I hear you. Can you hear me now? Girl, it's got to be you if they can hear me. I'm just going to talk. You guys, Hopefully you guys I can't can hear, hear me. a thing. Uh-oh. Should I talk? This is so odd. Um. All right. If you got, can you guys hear Dion? We're gonna have to edit this part out of the podcast, Dion. <laughs> it's gonna kind of mess everything up if I can't hear you. It's not gonna make for much of a live or a podcast, is it? Um, hold can on. you guys still hear me? Leave a comment if you can still hear me, because I can hear Dion just fine. Cammy, you just go ahead and talk. Yes, that's what I was hoping to hear. It's my favorite thing to do, you guys. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit, if you guys can hear me. I'm going to tell you why we decided to launch this magazine. And I say we because about mm, like six months ago now, I put a little bug in Dion's ear and I said, girlfriend, I have no idea why you have not come out with a magazine yet. Like you're the perfect person to put out a magazine. And the reason that I thought this is because I'm just going to talk about Dion because she can't hear me say all these nice things and she won't get shy. So a couple, like Dion said, we met about a year ago. Um, she approached me to just help her out with some copywriting in her business. And so the first thing I do when I meet someone new is I just research them and learn about their business, learn about who they are as a person, learn how they interact with their customers. And Dion had this tagline that really stood out to me. She had this thing. She always said, if I can do it, you can do it, which I thought was a beautiful example of explaining how an artist and an art coach can work with people. But more than that, the idea of if I can do it, you can do it means so much more to me. When I see Dion live those words, what she's really doing, she's not just saying, if I can do it, you can do it because it's that easy. What she's really saying is, if I can do it, you can do it because one, now you know it is possible. You know that this, whatever it is, building an art business, painting this piece, creating this type of blending, it's possible because I've done it and now you've done it too. But she's also saying, I know that you can do it because I will be there to help you. And that I think is like what makes Dion so special is that she's never been somebody who's like out to make a profit. She's not really even interested in just like running a business. She wants to help people. And that is the perfect kind of person that you want to put more messages out into the world. And so I started to think about this idea where Sorry, of imagining her, like if she was in everybody's house. Hear anything. I'm just gonna keep talking like she can hear me, ignore her. Uh, I had this idea that like, what if Dion could be there with people all the time to show them that life as a creative is about so much more than just putting art into the world. It's about more than struggling through figuring out how to sell it or connect with people or any of that. Art is a lifestyle. And I thought, what would that look like? Like, what would this whole idea of if I can do it, you can do it because we're in this community together. What would that look like if it was in everybody's home? And my first thought was, Dion would just have the best magazine. I can't hear anything, guys. Sorry. Just tell her I'm telling, talking That's all, all this nice stuff about, about her. Be the worst podcast ever. I think we're gonna have to do a do over. I'm afraid to talk. Oh, 
I'm not making echoes. Okay, that's good. I thought I was making all the echoes, but I think it might be Dion. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore, they say. Okay. Can you hear me? No? Yeah. Can anybody hear me? I can. You can hear me. I don't know which you guys, one. You are watching a podcast in the making. This is how it starts in the beginning. This is real life. It's messy. Just like art. It's an ugly process in the beginning. We'll get there. Yeah, I have I have um, two mics on and I apologize. I'm trying to decide which one to turn off, guys. Okay. I guess we're good now. We're good? Yeah, I think we're okay. okay. Rocky start. We got this. Well, StreamYard has been so beautiful. You know, it's been so perfect up until just recently where it was like mm, wonky, totally wonky. So sorry about that. What were you saying about me? So many nice things, Dion. I was telling them about how when we first met, one of the things about you that really stood out to me was your idea of if I can do it, you can do it. Because your actions showed me that what you meant wasn't like, if I can paint this thing, you can too, because it's super easy. What you showed me with your actions, with the way that you interact with people, just with the way you present yourself online and with your community was that you can do it if I can do it, because I will help you do it. I will be there to walk you through. You have seen that it is possible. You've seen all the ugly mess of the beginning of something. Beautiful things don't just appear into the world, right? They have to become beautiful and they usually start out pretty not great <laughs> we all have to go through that process so watching you show all of these incredible artists that they can do something that is hard that is difficult that feels really wrong or ugly or uncomfortable because you've done it so you know it's possible you're showing them it's possible but also because they're never going to have to do it alone you're always going to be there for them and i was explaining how I imagined what it would be like to, for everybody to have a little, like every creator, if you just had a little Dion in your back pocket, like what would that look like? What if you always had something you could turn to that would motivate you, that would show you that all these hard things you're dealing with have already been done before and that would make you feel like no matter what, somebody's got my back and if I struggle with something, they're right there to help me through it. And that's where I came up with this idea of this lifestyle magazine for Dion. I'm not saying it's all my idea. I mean, I would love to take credit because that would be great, but it's very Dion. But I brought it up to her. She's like, well, I thought about it. I wasn't really sure if that was the best option. And all I could think was, yes, because then everybody could have a pocket Dion. That would be fantastic. That's the dream. And so we started talking about it and we came up with this idea that we wanted to put this digital magazine in the world. It would literally be in your pocket because it could be on your phone. It could be on your tablet. You could carry it with you. You can refer back to it. And we would show you if I can do it, you can do it. But not just art, lifestyle, mindset, family, business, all of these things that are part of a creator's world, not just the art piece. That's just one small part of our lives. But the whole picture of a creative lifestyle, we wanted to show you that you can do it. You can do big things. You can make a magazine. You can start a podcast that starts out a little wonky. You can do these big, scary things. And all of these amazing artists are going to show you you can because they're going to submit their stories. They're going to submit their experiences. They're going to share their tutorials. And you're going to see that you are not alone. Your struggles that you've experienced, the trauma that you've been through, the help that you need as an artist or a business person, there are so many people out there and they want to help you. And that's why they've become a part of our magazine and why we've included them. I know that was very long winded. Sorry, guys, but I'm really excited about this magazine. It's perfect. Yes. They said a pocket Dion. Pocket Dion. I, I couldn't live without her. Well, in reading the submissions. You guys, I'm going to cry if we talk about it. <laughs> I got teary eyed. Some of you I know, and some of you I don't. All of you made me so proud. I'll be honest, at dinner I was reading one to Matt, 
and I said, you have to read this because he knows the person. And just for two, twice today, I'm like, the power behind their stories is huge. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I, I'm, I want to say something, but I'm so worried I'm going to give it away. You guys, what we've gotten. So we, when we talked about actually doing this thing and actually putting together a magazine, we thought about how we needed to have some sort of focus for it. Like we wanted it to be more than an art magazine. We wanted it to be an entire creative lifestyle magazine, but we still need, you know, you need to pull focus a little bit in a magazine. So we came up with this idea of this power word. So each or focus word, whatever you want to call it, each issue that comes out, we are going to come in and try to focus it and give it direction. And we immediately both came up with the same focus word for this first issue, which was we knew it was either going to be it was either going to be community or courage. And we're like, you know what? We're starting a whole dang magazine. It's going to be courage. It's going to be courage because that's the way we're feeling right now. <laughs> We are. And look, we're still doing this. It's It's been a, a rocky start to this podcast, but that's the thing with a creative is, you know, thanks to Dion working through this kind of stuff with painting something and looking at it and being on a live video on YouTube and going, okay, this is ugly, but I'm going to work through it because that's, that's what creativity is. It's recognizing that you don't need to stop because it's ugly. You keep going, you push through it. And this magazine is really something that we hope will encourage you and give you that courage and push you through that ugly part. <laughs> That's right. We're going to show people at all different stages of their careers, different focuses, different mediums, such as home, lifestyle. We even have the hard stuff, grief, ADHD. There's so many other things that come just normal lives and how you maintain the creative lifestyle. How you, how you can push through it and come out the other side, just like your art, more beautiful, stronger, more focused. Yes. Um, and you guys, we really, these submissions have blown us away. Uh, there have been, I mean, all of them were beautiful, but there were a few that we were like, it was, this magazine was made for these people. And that's our thing is it's not for us. It's not for me and Dion as much as I am very excited to put my name on a magazine. It's so much more about you guys and seeing the responses we're getting is like, yeah, I, I am so grateful that we went ahead and we're like, we're doing it because now these stories, now this important work that people are doing and these words that they're sharing and this wisdom that they're giving, it has a home and it has a purpose. And these experiences that people have gone through they're going to touch so many lives that maybe they might never have had an opportunity to do so before. Absolutely. The other thing that we want to do for you guys that do your submissions. I'm going to ask you, do I sound normal? You're a little bit robotic at the second. You're a little stop and go. Okay. There's an echo on my end. So I didn't know if it was coming across to you guys. I don't hear that. Not only are you, um, going to be able to use the magazine as a voice for your art. I want to invite each and every one of you on here with me on my page so we can chit chat, we can get to know people, we can share even more. We can do the podcast together. There is a bit of delay, Patty. I do apologize. It's Thank you, Michelle. Um the podcast is going to be one of those things where it's a little bit different audience, but we're pulling it in to kind of be a supporting role for the magazine. But I want to encourage each and every one of you to submit whatever it is that you have, because each and every one of you has a gift, has a talent, has a story. And I want the magazine to be able to help tell that for you. I want the I podcast to tell you. I, as a copywriter, that's the thing that I tell all of my new clients is you might feel like you are doing something that a hundred other people out there are doing, but you're, none of them are doing it your way. None of them are doing it with your experience, with your passion, with your love, with your knowledge. Nobody can do what you do like you do it. 
that means that every story is worth telling, every vision is worth sharing. And so no matter what you think about how far along you are in your creative journey or whether or not you have a story to tell, there is no harm in putting it out there because there is going to be one other person that needs to hear it, that just needs it. And if you help one other person by submitting to the magazine, even if it's only me and Dion, that story is going to do so much more good by putting it out there than it will if you keep it in. And so we really, we want you guys to share your stories. We want to be able to give you a platform that you can put yourself into the world, you know, not just in a magazine, but on a website and, you know, a podcast and share your words so that they can give courage and inspire other creatives. And, you know, guys, we're going to fill that baby up with a bunch of quotes. Pretties. Did y'all hear that? Man. I am so sorry. <laughs> we'll redo this whole podcast, guys. We'll make it work. Quotes. We've got all kinds of different things that we're going to be adding in. So every time you flip that page, there's going to be a little bit of surprise on each page. Our graphics have kind of that boho Palm Beach feel. So it's going to be pinks and greens and teals and yellow and, you know, just, just all wrapping up summer and moving into fall. Oh, I love that you guys are saying hello to each other. It makes my heart so happy. Me too. That's what this is all about, you guys. It's so cute to see you guys. And Alice, we are praying for you as well, always. Um, you know, yesterday you were asking me, Cami, about um, the links. Mm -hmm. for their tutorials. Some of you guys are offering a tutorial to go along with your name, um, with your, you know, we're asking you. We, we love it because every single one of you that subscribes, the goal is to offer you as much tutorials and the much education and instruction and benefit, right? So with that comes links. And that's the greatest part of having a digital magazine. I've had some of you ask, wait a minute, I've never subscribed to a digital magazine. What does that mean? It means just like Cammy said, there's going to be a, your phone is in your pocket in your purse. And so bringing up each artist, say I've asked Cammy to actually do her own page, um, you know, have a spread in there as well, because she's a watercolor artist and when she has free time and there will be links. And so you'll be able to click on Cami Collins and it will take you to her Facebook page and it will take you to see her artwork. And so for the artists that are going to be featured, but even more so, it's more beneficial for all of the subscribers who get to click all of the links. And, you know, I've got this featured piece back here that I have hiding under my drop cloth. I'm so close to being done. I want to see it. I want to show you guys so bad. I'm like, you want to see a peek? I'm a child. Do you want to see a peek? Do you want to yep. see <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's like Christmas, you guys. I'm like, are we there yet? <laughs> I am so excited about it. But the, the goal with the digital magazine is, let's just say you saw um, an article that meant a lot to you and you wanted to be able to um, go back and read it again. So you just click it. You don't have to set your phone down and do anything. Whereas with a magazine, you know, you have to set it down, you have to go and you have to search. And so to me, this is just right at your fingertips. It's shopping if you want to, it's reading again if you want to, you can have your own private portal. So let's say you're reading January's issue, but you wanted to go back because it reminded you something in October's issue. You just log into the turquoisirisjournal.com, you'll have your own portal and you just go right back and you read it. You can even buy um, past issues. If let's say you let's say you join in February and you sign up for the, the issue, the current issue, you can go back. And maybe you saw that, you know, wait a I minute, mean, I didn't get to see Dion's cover article or there was a piece that so-and-so did I wanted to see about it. You can actually log into your portal and you can actually go back and purchase the first issue that you missed. So it just makes it really nice being digital. And we wanted to be able to reach as many people as possible, not just inside the USA or, um, you know, our audience is international. So some of you are on right now, you are in Australia or you are in New Zealand and all the different places. Um, so how many articles from painters are you accepting? Nina, it's going to be different each time. It really just depends on what we get. So we collectively, I don't even remember how many we have right now, but we're going to keep it at 10 to 12, depending on how much they share, how much they have to offer, what it is. Um, if they just want to share a story or if they're wanting to share a tutorial, you know, we're going to just decide with each one. So what I want you to do, though, if you're even considering 
submitting a feature. I want you to do it now. I don't want you to wait because we may have our October. We passed the deadline for October. We have that all set up and ready. Um, no, we don't have it ready. No, don't, don't misunderstand me. We have it figured out who we're going to feature this time. There we go. Meaning that we won't take it to the January issue or to the April issue or to the July issue, okay? So since this is a quarterly issue, I want you to just keep coming through. You guys, times are hard right now. And the the one thing that keeps driving me, even though, you know, Kimmy and I've never done this before. And I, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what I'm doing. I love magazines. My heart is with it because I know how you can connect with people. I know how it's inspired me. I know how it's uh, broadened my creativity beyond measure. I am a magazine girl, okay? And so because times like this are unexplainable, we don't necessarily have um, positivity unless we look for it. And I want to make sure we give you something to look for. And I want to make sure that I can drop inside your inbox and you say, hello, it's Cammie, or hello, guys, it's Dion, and guess what's coming up? Um, those are things that I just want to make sure are always available to you and indefinitely. That's that's truly my goal. And really, when we say like submit today, we know it's closed, but submit now because like I said, we are gonna have these focus words for each issue, right? So we maybe what you're submitting this time isn't working for courage, but maybe it's working for the next one. And maybe you'll be busy then, but if you get it done now and submit it now, it can be done and ready and you'll be in the next issue. So take those leaps, be willing to put yourself out there. The worst that's going to happen is it might not make it in this issue, but it's never, ever, ever going to be a bad thing when you put yourself out there into the world because you guys have so much to give. And all we want to do is help you give it to everybody else because I know how much, sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> I know how much I've gained from just being in Dion's group as like a helper and a contributor. I've gained so much just seeing how supportive your community is from seeing the way you guys educate and inspire and make each other laugh. It's really beautiful. And all we thought with this magazine was, we need to give this to more people. Like how beautiful would it be yeah. if everybody had this little resource that they could turn to when they're like, I am in a rut. I'm feeling down. I'm feeling stressed. I don't know what to do. And they could just pull out their phone, watch the tutorials right there. They could reach out to people. They might have experienced something that they read in the magazine and they can just connect with them on Instagram. We want this to be another type of community. We want it to be a community where it becomes, It's. I, we keep saying magazine. It is a magazine, but it's like a Dion version of a magazine. It's somehow bigger and better or more beautiful and more loving and more connected. And it's not about putting things on a paper for you guys to like recycle. It's about building up who you are by helping lift up other artists because our mission from the beginning has been we want to amplify creative voices we want to inspire we want to empower and the best way to do that is to ask each one of you to to be brave to submit to put yourself out there and just listen to the podcast if you don't want to watch a magazine that's or look at a magazine that's fine hop on the podcast listen to these artists share their stories Right. Absolutely. I was so like we were mentioning earlier that when several of the submissions came through, I thought, oh, this is big. Like this was big just to do the submission mm -hmm. inside. Not only do I want to just tear up out of just like, yes, but you guys, you throw your courage at me. And I'm just like, can I have some of that? Can I get me some of that? Can I get me some of that? I asked Cammie after only knowing her a few months to come into the Waco retreat and actually speak in front and do public speaking in our retreat in Waco this October. And she said, yes, but she's never I done did. that before. You guys, I hadn't even been on a live before. I'd never gone live on the internet. I think maybe it was like our second one. And then you're like, so I'm going to have you go live. And then like a week later, she's like, so you're going to come to Texas and you're going to speak at a retreat. I'm like, girlfriend, you just got me on video for the first time, but okay, I guess I'm doing it. Good things happen when you are willing to try new things. And let's be real. They're not always going to work out. Art is like that. You play around, you mess with it. It's not always going to be perfect. It's going to be a little bit messy, but boy, you end up in a better place than where you started. And that's, that's what we want this magazine to be. It might, might be a little crazy for submitting this in the beginning, but it's going to be such a beautiful experience. And we really can't wait for you guys to be a part of it. Well, I know that it took courage for you to say yes. 
I know that it took courage for you to say, and I've asked you to do several things where I know that you've been like, I need to, so, but here's the, here's the beauty of it, Miss Tammy. When you, when you find somebody that you can relate to, and that seems to be living parallel with your own life and your own missions, and the way that I want to run my business, um, you want to nurture that. And I've learned that as a creative business coach that I want to nurture those people. And I want to, often I will see something in someone, especially on my one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's nothing like my one-on-one -on -one coaching. It sets my heart on fire. And I will be able to talk to these women and tell them stuff that I would never be able to say in a group setting or even in the creative connection, definitely not here. But you see something in someone and you, I can't let it go. I can't let it pass without saying, whoa, do you realize this, this, or this? And do you see, I want to bring that up where I say, I want you to see yourself the way others see you. And so from day one- You see why she has a magazine, you guys? This is the kind of person you want having a magazine. <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, from day one, you spoke very well. And every time you come on, I get feedback that says, we love that cami and it would be dumb for me to ignore that it would be if that's what people are needing there there's a gift of cami or just your personality or what you your experience and your your gift of mindset so i'm not i can't let that i can't ignore that is what i'm trying to say i can't don't you dare make me cry on this podcast i will spend some time on this eyeliner okay <laughs> I'm definitely not trying to make you cry, but I do need to explain to you that when you see something in someone, I'll be darned if I'm going to let it pass over. I'm going to be darned if I'm going to be jealous of it or try to shun it or try to smother it. No, girl, we're going to lift and we're going to rise up. Mm -hmm. I want more people to know you. I want more people to understand the women in my group are powerful, creatives. They've had life experiences and the men too. Let me just tell you, there's some pretty kicking at men in the group. Oh yeah. Some and so real talent. We're, we're proud of those guys too. Um, but this creative community that we've so, you know, so-called developed, it's not just me, everybody, like you can see all the support in these comments right now. Um, I promise we will get to where you can subscribe and where you can submit. I've seen that a couple of times too. So I promise we'll get that link in here too for you guys. Um, but recognizing the gifts that people have to share that maybe what I have found is so few times has someone been given a compliment every day. Like how many times have we gone throughout our day and not received a compliment from somebody, but we've actually been around people all day. I, I know that a lot of you guys watching now know my background um, as a behavior therapist, but this is the first episode of a podcast. So I'm going to dive into that really quick <laughs> because it's going to explain why Dion and I work so well together. So my background is I worked in behavior in special education. I worked with adults and children with severe uh, mental and physical disabilities, communication disorders, all kinds of things. Basically, if they were too difficult for the school district to handle, they hired me. And I walked in fresh out of college with my degree and a whole lot of gumption. And they put me in this classroom with a 16 year old boy. And they said, in the 11 years he's been in this school district, he has had something like 13 different foster parents. In the past year alone, he's had six different caseworkers or like one-on-one -on -one helpers. And he sits in the back of the class in a little like, pod like a cubicle thing by himself with worksheets in this one person all day because he's too much and that just doesn't compute in my brain you guys i don't believe that anybody is is not enough or too much i disagree completely so my fresh little 20 something walked into that classroom was like well this isn't gonna work and my belief is that people only live up to the lowest standards that you hold them to. So if you feel bad about yourself, you're gonna feel bad about other people and you're gonna wanna keep them down. 
And I think that that is possibly the worst thing that you can do. I think that it is so important that we consistently hold people to high expectations and high standards. And we look them in the eye and we say, I know you can do it. You've shown me that you can do hard things. And I believe in you. And when Dion said, how many people go through the day without a compliment? Not only was this kid not getting compliments, he was being told that he was a bad kid. Imagine telling somebody every day that they're bad. Eventually, they're going to believe it, right? And Dion and I connect because we both believe that the most important thing in this world is people and the relationships that we have with each other and the communities that we build and the way that our lives can impact the lives of others. And so we are both in this mission of how many people can we compliment today? How many people can we raise those expectations and say, listen, girlfriend, don't you tell me you can't because if I can do it, you can do it. And if you're not going to do it yourself, I'm going to haul you up here with me and I'm going to help you do it. Right. And that's that's what we're about. That's what this magazine's about. That's what Dion's entire business mission is. Mine is a little bit different because I'm not a coach or an artist, but I'm a writer and I believe there, every business could be a bajillion dollar business. Every artist should be the most famous artist because I don't think that there is any shortage of fame or success or love. And I think the more you put out there, the more love, the more support, the more encouragement, the more you're gonna get back and the better the world is gonna be. So if we can take this magazine and all we do with it is make a few people feel better about their days and start complimenting other people more, then we've started a chain reaction that's yes. not going to be stopped. Yeah, absolutely. And I know, I know from experience why people don't compliment or you know how you can see someone and just, I'm talking physical first, just you can see someone and think, wow, that is really nice, but you don't say it. Why don't we say it? Oh girl, and, I say it. Well, I say it. The reason is because it makes us feel uncomfortable. It's mm -hmm. uncomfortable. It's shy. It's a shyness to give a compliment. But you change the trajectory of that person's day when you step out of your comfort zone for them. You, it, 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 it's a ripple effect, you guys. It's so much bigger than just your uncomfortable feeling, isn't it? It's so much bigger. So if you can do the one thing that's uncomfortable, which that's kind of been my mission for 2020 is, hey. How uncomfortable can we make Cammy? <laughs> possibly make Cammy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm after it. No, it's. How uncomfortable can I make myself? And until I'm un not uncomfortable with this particular thing, I'm going to keep doing it. I and you know what they say, nothing, no change happens in your comfort zone. It's comfortable. You're not going to change. You're not going to get out of your seat and do anything. You have to take yourself out of that comfort zone. You have to push your own boundaries and you have to say, how much good can I do? Might make me uncomfortable, but will it be worth it? And guess what? The answer is always yes. It's always going to be worth it to to put yourself out there and be kind and be helpful and be caring. And gosh, I love giving compliments. I, I, you guys, I hand them out like they are gum. Every person I see gets something. My husband gets so he's so shy. We'll be walking through the store and I'll be like, "Girl, love your mask. Oh my goodness, your eye makeup is amazing. You're such a good mom. I would have handled that meltdown not so great. I just hand them out because." I don't know how many people they're going to help. Sure, one in ten people might be like, "Okay, that lady is a little weird." No. But nine people, nine people are going to be like, "I just went to the store, and this random girl told me my eyeliner looked amazing and pumped me up for the whole day." Which I did put a lot of work into this eyeliner, you guys. So yes. you're welcome to compliment me on that. <laughs> you look beautiful. You look beautiful. I actually had the boys tell me, "Mom, please stop." stop you embarrass us every time you do that and because it draws people it, it makes they felt like it made people look at us and they don't like to be looked at but you know what stop doing that i said i will never i will never because what if that was the only compliment that that girl has received all week long it goes also let's compliment boys more guys get out there go find three teenage boys in your life they need to hear it more than probably anybody it is hard being a teenager especially a teenage boy just just go find three people you can compliment today and hopefully one of them will be a boy because i feel like they just don't they don't get it as much as they deserve to well you know earlier today um oh heather says you do look beautiful cami she loves your nose ring thank you oh and thank you Derek says your eyeliner looks great. Um, and da, 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 I sprinkle them around like confetti, says Nina West. I love that so much. Um, earlier, I was I was talking to Matt about um, 
just, I was feeling a little bit stressed, you know, and I have felt a little bit stressed since I decided to do this magazine. And I think it comes from, it's the first time, you know, the first time you do something, you set deadlines. Can we keep them? I don't know, but the people on here are really nice in case we don't. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. But because I'm taking so much pride in it, and I know that you are taking so much pride in it, I know it's going to be real. I know it's going to speak from the heart of not just us, but from so many, because I do want to use the opportunity to be a voice for so many of you. I know where you guys are coming from. I know where your heart is. You come on here every other day with me and you speak your heart. You come in my membership groups. You come on my social media platform. So I know where your heart is. And I want to use this magazine for all of us or creatives as our voice to fellow creatives and to say to the world, you know, a lot of us are furniture painters and I don't take that lightly. All of the big names, the big furniture who are putting out furniture and mass production, I keep saying it. Guys, they better watch out for us. We are coming. We are getting better. We are pushing the boundaries. We are creating one of a kind works of art that nobody has ever seen before. And we're doing it with our paint and our hands. And so they need to watch out. I want to say for us furniture artists, look out. Like take us seriously. How many of you have had the whole, oh, you paint furniture? And then they get irritated with us or they get, Cammie, I don't know if you've ever experienced that before, but when you take something that's wood and you put paint on it, you always run into somebody that's like, huh, would have left it. Uh -huh. And then they get to, into the being the keyboard warriors and they like to sometimes tell you what they, what they think about that. Um, and so my mission has been for years. It's like, man, we're going to paint as creatives. We're going to paint no matter what. We're going to paint on something. We're going to paint on boards and canvases and drop cloths and our shoes. Lordy mercy. We were in Encinitas and um, Mara Le Fay did a workshop where everybody got out their kids and their shoes and they covered them and they did all these funky patterns. So it's like, that's just what we do as creatives. We make and we make and we often get to sell. So we're going to raise the bar. We're going to push each other. We're going to help each other. And we're going to do it all as the Turquoise Iris Journal becomes a serious thing. All right. It's a thing. And it's a thing for everybody internationally, all over the world. And if my voice is getting hyper and I'm talking fast. Because we're really excited, you guys. Seriously. my So as you know, I'm, I'm a watercolor and mixed media artist. I haven't worked with furniture. Uh, eventually, I'll get there, you guys. Give me time. Okay. I just got on lives. Give me a minute, <laughs> but I will get there. But for me, I see what I see is people who are taking things that would be left on the side of the road and discarded and they're making them beautiful and functional. And you guys don't like Dion said, you don't just do it with furniture. You do it with your shoes and your hats and your whatever you can think of. And to me, that shows so much beauty because it shows me that you can see the world as beautiful even when it doesn't look like it at first. And that is the kind of message that the world needs right now. It's what we need to spread. We need to show people that there is beauty in something if you give it a chance, if you let it be messy and ugly and just get a little weird with it and go for it. And I think that that, when Dion and I first met, it was you know one of those things we connected through work and it was like, okay, yeah, I'll do a project for you. And I think it was like basically love at first sight. I was like, I'm going to follow her to the ends of the earth. I don't care what she does. I will do it. I will write for it. I don't care because I could see this movement that she's been building. You all have been building because you're all buying in it together. And my thought was like, okay, I don't paint furniture, but I need to find a way to be a part of this because this is where I want to be. This is what everything should feel like. Everybody should get to have this. Everybody should get to connect with people that they care about and express themselves in ways that are meaningful and share their genuine love and support and appreciation for one another right. in a way that lifts us all up and makes the world more beautiful while we're doing it. Like, I don't know how anybody could complain about turning art furniture into art like my house is real boring right now you guys it's all white look at this giant shelf behind me you know what we're gonna do this weekend we're gonna paint that baby we are doing it turning it into a fall tree it's gonna be amazing 
Oh my goodness, we're rubbing off on her, you guys. She's watched so many videos and done so many photos. Um, so many. Cami, what did you um, what did you think when I actually messaged you and said, I think I want to go ahead and do the magazine? Can we do this by October? What did uh, you my first thought was, well, she should have just said yes when I suggested it because we would be so much farther ahead. <laughs> but there was no question in my mind. It was like, yeah, sure, let's do it by October. We got this. I think you and I are both people that believe if, like I said, if you set high expectations for yourself, you're going to get a lot farther than if you set a low one. So yeah, October was a reach. And I was like, can we, we're going to make it work because at the very least it'll fall sometime in October. I guarantee you will be on time because we're both perfectionists, but you have to do that to yourself. You have to say, can I do it? I'm going to try. That's what it comes down to. And so I, my thought when you asked me if it was going to be possible, I was like, well, yeah, girl, let's, let's get going. Let's do it. I'm ready. Yeah, I already had plans. I already had stuff laid out. <laughs> so yeah, I, to me in like two days, I was like, oh gosh, you've got 78 graphics. Okay. <gasps> All right. Did, ready. You've been doodling a little bit, have you? Um, but narrowing it down to what, because I think the, 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 the tough part and the fun part has been because you have so many options. There's guys, you're starting from nothing. What do you want the magazine to look like? And it's like, okay, I think this, but wait this. And then, oh my, what about this? Um, I think that's part of the creative journey. But I'll tell you what, if we fail, we will do it right in front of you. I don't and think it'll be beautiful. I don't know. Be the most beautiful failure you guys have ever seen. You're going to be like, that's gorgeous, but it's terrible. <laughs> if we fail, it will be in front of all of you. It will be openly and honest. Here's why um, it didn't work. But do I think that's going to happen? Of course not. I'm totally positive and optimistic about the entire thing. But I got to daydreaming the other day and I thought, what if this magazine goes on for 10 years, Cammy? And then I thought, could this happen? And I thought, well, I don't, I guess I don't know why it couldn't. If, if that's if, my dream, let's make that a reality. Let's do it. I'm in for 10 years. Yeah. Having that magazine for 10 years, it just blows my mind. So um, the next step, like we were talking about is to make this a podcast. I would like to come on here once a week. I want to interview every single artist. And I, here's the kicker. Most of these people work with their hands behind the scenes and have never done a video. So when I say to them, hey, I'd like to have you on a podcast, you know what us creatives do? They freeze. They Don't freeze. Up. And they say, uh, since I wasn't putting on my computer, I'm going to grab it again. And they say, oh, I've already experienced this a few times, and I love these people. When they say, oh, well, I just do behind the scenes stuff. I'm not really uh, used to being in front of the camera. And another reason that made Cami so different and so special and unique to me is because she is a copywriter. She is behind the scenes person. But every single time I put a microphone on her, she speaks so eloquently. She speaks from her heart. She's extremely genuine. And I feel so gifted to have her on our team. Um, I have my, my Michelle, most of you all know um, who Michelle is. She's on here right now. And she is the binding that holds us all together because she does the things with the accounts and the payments that I don't want to do, that I don't have the time to do. And Michelle is also, I wish I could pull her up right now, but she'd probably be free. Um, <laughs> she is also one of those people who has a heart of gold and sees the good in everyone. And from day one, she has been rooting me on. And I looked at her just over the weekend, just over the weekend, she did a really nice thing that nobody's ever done for me before. Not one person's ever done this particular thing for me. And I said, I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you. So that's Matt on you guys. It's not Elijah. I do see Elijah commenting, but that's because Matt doesn't have his own account. So that's actually Matt, you guys. Um, but with Cami, because she's so unique, um, well, it just, it, it makes her something 
being a part of this team, I can't get the right words, Kami. I'm sorry. As I'm like, why I write them for you. Well, I'm not gonna cry. Yeah, that's why you write them for me. I'm like, do you know what I'm trying to say? And she's like, yeah, I know what you're trying to say. (laughs) It's one of those things where I knew right away that I needed to hold her close to me and learn from her. I never, ever, ever think that I know everything. And I never, ever think that I am the most talented or the most, you know, the smartest or anything like that. But I do want to say that I'm a good judge of character and hopefully, um, you know, nurturing the relationships that I'm trying to do will benefit that me personally, not just, not just professionally too. So, oh, everybody's saying they love their Michelle. (laughs) I did. I said, Cammie, I said, uh, Michelle, I do not deserve you. I don't know if anybody is worthy of Michelle. She's amazing. (laughs) She is super amazing, you guys. Um, So because we've hit it off and because we're excited about this, we have common, both the same interest, you guys. The magazine's going to be beautiful. So when it drops in your box that day, I need you to be, like, so excited. I want you to share it with your friends. I want you to share it with anybody that you think um, not just loves creative things, but also loves motivation and loves to find inspiration. And I, I don't really know anybody that doesn't. So I feel like it's to be a magazine for just about everybody. Um, it is. It is. So what we have already, you guys, is so much. I wish I could properly communicate without giving it away. How many amazing things we have in this just first issue. And you guys, it was like pulling teeth to get you guys to submit. So we were able to get all of this by begging you every day to submit. So just seeing what we've been able to do just now, just at the beginning when nobody's like quite sure if they're going to buy into this digital magazine idea, seeing the amount of incredible content, the tutorials, the supportive words. I, I've i cried more than a few times reading some of these submissions, but just there's just so much amazing stuff in this. And that's just the beginning, you guys. That This is literally the beginning of a magazine. And we already have so many powerful things, educational things, exciting things, silly things, fun things. It's, it's just so exciting because I guess what we're really doing is we're saying, what kind of magazine do I wish I had? What do I wish that was in my life? And then we're just making you guys submit it to us and then we get to read it all first and be happy and then we share it with the rest of you. But really what we did, we're like, we are both creatives, albeit we do have different mediums, but you guys know creative lifestyle, it's we have our own brain. (laughs) We run our world a little bit differently than everybody else. So we just thought, what do we need? Like what would make our lives more empowered? What would make us feel better? If what could, what are we going through that we need support for? That's right. And we were able to to find it. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Honestly, I think we should give it to him. Well, you know, uh, Cammy was the one that actually nicknamed Abby as the chief uh, marketing officer. The CBO as the chief marketing officer. So um, very clever. And um, yeah. How many words are we allowed per submission? Um, If you will click the link, all of that information is there and it kind of gives you the boundaries and the guidelines that we would like for you to stay under. We also have advertising. So if anybody actually wants to run an ad inside the business, that's a that's a that's an option, too. That is a serious option for anybody who's like, I want to get my stuff out there, but I don't have time to write a tutorial. Yeah. Get your stuff out there. Get an ad in there and everybody will see your stuff. And then you don't have to worry about trying to make a tutorial. Um, Word count. Let me just be the magazine editor lady here real quick. So our submission process is that we give you the sort of parameters for what we're looking for for each issue. That's going to be the focus word colors, but not really. And just sort of a general vibe of what what we're hoping to accomplish with the issue. And then we ask you guys to suggest what you think you do would be a good fit for that. We really want it to be something that you're like connecting with. We don't want you to just be like, here, take this for the magazine. We want you to to really think about what do you think you have to offer that's really special because we want you to recognize how great you are just like we do. So when we ask you to submit, it's more of like, tell us what your ideas are. What are you feeling? And you might end up as like the big feature. You might, maybe not a cover page. We're going to be a little bit picky about that, but it could be, you know, a thousand words. It could be 250. Maybe you're like, listen, I know this perfect thing, but it's like a hundred words. 
that can make it in there too. We are not saying you have to stay within these boxes. We're creatives. We get it. Yeah. We want you to to give us what you think is a good fit, and then we'll help you shape it into the magazine. We're not going to make this like, you know, we don't want you to feel like you're submitting to like something boring. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And, you know, I can't finish this conversation without thanking the community. Several of you that are on here right here at this very moment are always on here. And I don't know what I've done to deserve you. I don't know, other than just continuing to show up and do my thing and try to show you how to create something that I think is pretty, I don't know what I've done to deserve you popping on here and spending your quality time with me. And I've introduced you to my world Here's Cammy. This is a part of my world. My Michelle, my Matt, my boys, my girl Abby. Like, I introduce you to my world, and you still show up. You don't even say, "Oh, that's her world." Oh no, I know. I just, I have to thank you. There are several of you on here right now. You know who you are because you guys recognize each other. You're a big part of every, my every day, and I want you guys to be featured. I want you guys to put yourself out there. You know who I'm talking to. You guys hear me. I want you guys to say, hey, this is what I do. And, I, you know, this is hard for me, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because dion has been encouraging me. Just like me asking Cammie after I'd only know. Guys, I haven't met her yet. I haven't physically wrapped my arms around her and kissed her cheek yet. It's coming, but I haven't done that. So soon. So soon. Next month. No, wait. Um, but... I'm, I'm asking you all to do this. You are my people. This is the tribe. This is the, our community that we love and we nurture one another. So yeah, I'm asking you, not tomorrow, not the next day, but soon. I want you just to consider what it might look like you to come on here with me. Because Cammie's talking to me right now, but who's it going to be a year from now that's on here with me? Who's it going to be? Do we want to start throwing out names? Who do we think it could be? Mm, you, Llewellyn? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I'm going to throw out names. I'm going to tell the people who need to submit right now. Have on. All of you. It's all of you. That's the answer. Oh, Everyone should. Pat says, I remember when you introduced Cammie to us in Empowered by Design to talk about mindset. And I thought this girl is a powerhouse. She is wise beyond her years. That is something that Cammie is. She's wise beyond her years. She's an old soul. Do you ever describe yourself that way, sister? Oh, yes, that I've always joked, you guys, I, this is going to sound ridiculous. Since I was a child, I have said I am an 80 year old woman in a body that is like, it's like my soul is aging opposite to my body. <laughs> because I am truly, I love, I would love to be an old lady right now, but apparently you got to actually age to do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm 100% an old soul. I think what it is is that I just, I truly love people. I really do. And so I spent, most of my childhood, you know, super normal thing for a kid to do, studying people and behavior. I mean, I'm a writer. So, you know, that's just my natural instinct is to sit back and watch the way people interact and understand what do people need. And you guys, I can tell you, everybody is exactly the same. We all need to be seen. We all need to be heard. We all need to be loved. We all need to be supported. And when Dion and I talked about this magazine, it was never like, what's the next step in your business? That's not ever how she has ever planned anything in her business. It's never, what should my business do next? It is always, what do these people who for some reason have followed me, I don't know how she's so humble, but that's how she puts it. What do these people deserve? What would help them in their lives? What would make their lives more powerful? And when I brought up this idea of a magazine and I was like, girl, that's like, 10 tutorials, an issue, and all these people are getting a platform and we're the artists we're featuring. We're going to link to their websites. We're going to link to their social media. We're going to link to their YouTube. We're giving people a voice and a platform that they may not have had before. And that's why she did it. She didn't do it because she was like, what should I do for my business? I should write a book. I should do a magazine. It was what could help the most people the fastest, the best way. And this is, this is where she landed, thank goodness, because now I get to say I'm a magazine editor. Oh, but see. also, <laughs> I've been telling everybody that, you guys, I'm about to order some business cards. Um, <laughs> but also, I know that Dion is like me. She 
loves people. That's what it's always people first. That's the first thing we talked about when we had our first ever discovery call. And we talked about what's your business like? What are your goals? And she asked me the same thing. She's like, what do you do? And I said, it's for me, it's always people first. I'm never going to be a marketer who wants to make the sale. I, my marketing standpoint for anybody who's worked with me or had a call with me, it is always, how can we serve your market? Right. Because that's what matters right. is the people. We don't have businesses without customers. We don't have Facebook page without people to look at it. So it was just so refreshing to come across somebody who not only says that that's their business mission and goal, but lives it. That is that is who Dion is as a person. And I think it helps that I also just really love people and trying to make the most people feel empowered and loved and seen and heard as I can. That's that's my goal. And it pairs up very nicely with Dion's, which is why we're such a good team. Yes, I do believe that we're a good team. And I promise you guys what we're going to put out is going to be not like anything that you've had before, not like anything that's been in your inbox before. It's going to be authentic and true and exactly what you're getting right here. It's going to be this. It's not, I never won any sales contest, guys. I did sales for 15 years. I never won a contest. It's not my jam. My jam is people. And how do you feel when you walk away from me? Did I leave you with a feeling or did I, you know, it's never been about taking all of your money. Um, like I said, the other girls, they were great at sales. And then we be on. <laughs> she wanted to know about your kids and where they went to school and where you grew up and all of those kind of things. So, um, and is that your puppy, Cammy? Yep. I have a husky, you guys, and she's a talker. So she's been very upset. I also have some chief marketing officers here for Momtrovert Creative. Um, <laughs> But they are very needy. I I manage, as much as I love people, I also love animals. And I am very giving of my affection with both animals and people. And um, apparently when you do that with dogs, they just think that they're lap dogs. And so I have a 60-pound husky who likes to talk to me all day. And if she were in this room, she would be sitting right here, which mm -hmm. I think you guys have seen her on more than a few we have, <laughs> live videos. We have, just like Miss Abby Girl, she thinks she's a lap dog. Um, I don't have a creative environment in the 3D, only online, and I'm okay with that. It only bothers me when some hate in the 3D because they don't get it being creative. Um, I, it's hard. That's the thing with, that's why, I mean, why there are so many people who love Dion, like myself included, is because creativity can feel really isolating because it's a process you go through. It's it's a communication that you're having with your medium. and. I have met, I mean, you guys know what it's like trying to explain your creative process. You're like, well, I'm doing this because it feels right. <laughs> what does that mean when it's paint? It feels like it should go here. We understand what that means because we're all creatives, but I get it. My husband is not a creative brain at all. My husband is very analytical. So trying to explain my creative process to him, he's like, uh huh. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we've all had conversations before. <laughs> oh, yes. And so this magazine is sort of like, there's going to be a lot of you who aren't in the groups who are like, I don't even, you might even want the magazine. That might not even be your desire, but that's what the podcast is for. We thought we need a way to share these stories and provide the same support for people who aren't interested in a magazine. Maybe they're like, girl, I don't got time to follow tutorials. I just want to hear some happy stuff. That's what this is about. We tried to find as many channels as we could to provide you that love and support, but also to empower others and raise them up and give them a platform because Dion thinks I'm amazing and I, I am blown away. I was literally nothing when she met me. I was had just finished like a full on mental breakdown of like, I'm never going to succeed in my business. Then this girl hires me and it changed everything because there was one person who reached out and said, I see something in you and I'm going to, I'm going to force you to share it. And we love you guys, but we're all about getting outside that comfort zone. She's going to do that with a lot of you on this podcast. And it's going to be so beautiful. And it's going to make such a difference. I'm so excited, you guys. I can't talk about it enough. It is. It's going to do that. And I, like I mentioned earlier, I don't know what we're doing with the mag. Like, I don't know the technical side of it. But I'll be darned if it's going to stop us from doing it. You know it might saying? be real ugly, you guys. But it's, it's going to have really so much good right. stuff. I did do really graphic, so it's not going to be ugly. I we won't let that happen. Um, the technical side, we've never done it before, but I do know 
that this desire is there. This that like even just the podcast, guys. I've been taking trainings on how to do a podcast. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna let society or the fact that I don't have a degree or I don't have any type of you know master's education of any kind. I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm just gonna say, I will figure this out. I will either fail right in front of everybody, probably with a dress on and my lipstick. And probably a hat too. I will either do it gracefully or I will kill it. And I plan on absolutely rocking the magazine, rocking yep. the podcast while I'm spinning all the other discs in the air and trying to make it happen. Um, I just, I want each and every one of you to know before we go tonight that your voice matters and that you deserve to be heard. Your artwork deserves to be seen. And I want to help elevate that and give you a platform to do that. Cami is going to be right there pushing you along. If you ever have any question, concern, you can send us emails. We will be spreading our email. We have our own email for the journal. Um, we have su submissions. We have very your very own website with your own login. So we're right here for you. If you have any questions or concerns, we're going to be right there for you. Um, and if anybody has any other questions right now, this would be the time to ask. Um, Michelle is on here and she is helping as well. If you are wondering where to submit, you go to the turquoiseirisjournal.com. You scroll right down. there. Yep. And you submit. All of the questions are right there for you. The tutorials are not required. They're just recommended. Okay. So um, that just means more audience for you. If you can put together a three to five minute tutorial on whatever project it is you're doing, and we send our entire audience to your video, look how much more attention or more clicks or, you know, that, that's what that's there for. It's for you and it's for our subscribers to be able to get more instruction and more education out of a subscription. So, um, I hope this was fun, you guys. This was Cammie's very first Friday Night Live. Um, I will be morphing into more Fridays at 8.30. Uh, summer has been crazy. Um, we've been, you know, we haven't seen Q in a long time. I know. Well, we're, we're launching a magazine, didn't you guys hear? Yeah, <laughs> it's been it's busy. Busy. Um, But also with the baseball, we've got baseball for the next three days for Labor Day weekend. So um, we're amping back up for that. All the links are provided, says Michelle. Have you ever... Have you let those who you've chosen for the first issue know you've chosen them? Doreen, I believe Cami is sending out emails in the next few days to those that have been chosen. So uh, like I mentioned, our submission process is we ask you guys to submit your ideas. I know what it's like to be a creative. I know that like having to have that box, I don't want you to feel like you shouldn't submit because you don't. Thank you, Cheryl, um, because you don't fit in a box. I want you to understand that there is no box. This is our magazine. We get to make it however we want it. So even if you're worried about not having a tutorial, whatever it is, you're going to submit your idea and we are choosing the ideas. And then what I'm doing right now is we know for the most part who we're going to include in this issue. We know how it's gonna be laid out. So now what I do is I take these ideas and I translate them into pictures links, uh, space in the magazine, how many pages it's going to be, what our graphic elements are. And then once I place all of you into the layout, then I reach out and say, okay, we have this, this, and this from you, but I'm going to need this many words, or I'm going to need one picture of this, that kind of thing. So everybody who is going to be in the magazine will hear from me over the next week. We just closed submissions. We wanted, we didn't want to make any final decisions until that was done, done, done. Um, and now I will be sending out all of your details. So, um, yeah, you'll be hearing from the editor at the Turquoise Cyrus Journal, <laughs> Miss Cami Collins. I'm, I'm going to say it as many times as I can, you guys. <laughs> get shirts made for you. Um, I did send you a mug about the editor. I sent yeah. her a coffee mug. And it's holding my bookmarks because that's what a that's what an old person I am. I have to have a several of them so that I don't lose my place. But it's back. Oh, it's not backwards on this one. Good. This is my mug she sent me, you guys. Because I first in the here is not an official job title. There we go. There we go. That's first it. into tears. My I own something that says editor because that's my job, you guys. That's so exciting. <laughs> 
so that's so awesome. Um, Rob, you do not pay for a podcast. You use the little free app on your phone. You can go to um, uh, we'll Apple do podcast, Spotify. Podcast. Yeah, there is no payment ever for any podcast. It will be um, something I will actually walk you all through because I understand there might be someone on here who's never done a, listened to a podcast. I will walk you all through it so you can get on there and listen to it as well. Um, will you tell if we didn't get in, says Sue? So we're probably not going to tell you because we don't want to tell you no, and then you might be in the next issue. We don't want to let anybody down. Some people have submitted stuff and we're like, this is fantastic. It doesn't work for this issue, but we kind of want to keep them on board. So you will probably hear from us at some point where we say, hey, we're looking to add you to this issue. If you submit now and you don't hear, you could hear from us in a year when we're on our fourth issue. Don't, don't feel like because we didn't pick you this time, we'll never pick you. Keep submitting. We might take something you've already submitted. We might take whatever you submit that's new, but keep going. Keep popping back up there. Poke us with a stick and say, hey, yes. I want to get famous. Put me in your magazine. <laughs> I'm just saying. And, and Sue also, um, like she said, she's going to be sending out the letters to the people that we are putting in the first issue. Um, so now that the deadline was the end of September, or was September 1st. Um, Everybody, you know, within the next few days will, will receive it. So if you don't, then the first issue, you'll kind of already know. But that just means that it's not for the first issue. as Because here's the thing. I got to thinking, oh, my word, as soon as we get the first issue ready, we've got to start working on the second. I already have my cover artist picked out. I already have all these different things lined up for the second issue. So um, is the next issue theme decided? It is not decided as far as the theme. I do. Not not yet, but I think we both have an idea of what we're going to be doing. Yeah, we haven't officially talked about it, um, but we have an idea. We know what our word's going to be, and I do have the cover artist already um, selected. So, um, you guys, this has been really fun to come back on here. Thank you for joining us tonight. And, Cami, thank you for taking time out. I know you were floating the river yesterday. and today. Right. So she got her little son on. She got a little sun sun kissed there. Took the girls. Like I said, she has a five year old and a six year old, um, Maisie and Rowan, and they they had ice cream and looked like you had a really great time today. We had a fantastic time. And um, Dion sent me a little video message today. And my daughter Maisie, who is five, is probably Dion's biggest fan, um, along with our friend Gavin. Uh, she loves Dion, loves Dion. All she talks about, she's like, is that Dion on your phone? Not this time, Maisie, settle down. She'll talk to you soon. I love those little girls. I love them. I always, there were two that came to class at Encinitas and they didn't come to class, but they came to um, Debbie's shop and they came to meet Debbie. They watched her videos and they came in there and Ruby and Hayden and I was so touched by their sweet little faces. And as soon as we walked out, I looked at Michelle with a tear in my eye and said, I want one. See, guys, this is what we're doing. We're building a community where kids are like looking at furniture and going, yeah, I could paint that. We want to make all of you feel like you can. And Heather, I did see your compliment. Thank you. I wanted to say thank you, but I was on a roll, guys. <laughs> I'm going to sign off here. I'm going to let everybody get back to their things. Um, next Friday, I want to say I'll be here, but I'm actually going to be in McKinney, Texas in a workshop with Kara Lockwood. Uh, Debbie Beard at Canise, and we'll be doing our VIP on Friday night for 30 people that are coming to the VIP night. And then the workshop is Saturday from two to six. Um, so that is an actual sold out event. We'll be back on the 18th and I may have a pretty good surprise for you on that night. So um, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and encouragement. We are doing this journal together. So you're doing it with us, you guys. We're dragging you up here. Absolutely. I couldn't do it without you guys. I will sign off now. Thanks for the for the patience while I was working out the audio. I really don't know what happened. That had never happened with StreamYard, but leave it to us saying we're going to do the first podcast to make that happen. So we'll see how good Matt's editing skills are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, Cammie. Bye, you guys. Have a good night.